Welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. Yes, I'm the Goose. Glad to have you back. Uh, got some really interesting news out of the Philippines today. Uh, but first, let's start with a little java, right? Uh, some good coffee. It's strong, just like my opinion. Got some creamer to make it sweet, just like me. Mmm, good stuff. The Battle of Manila Bay is underway. Uh, no, no, it's not 1942. Okay, this, the Great World War II battle. There's a real battle against Mother Nature and polluters going on as we speak in the uh, capital city in the Philippines. The, uh, the leader of the Philippines, you love him or you hate him, uh, President Duterte declared war on uh, the pollution in Manila Bay. It should be the pride and joy, always has been, one of the great natural harbors in the world. Unfortunately, uh, due to, you know, laziness, greed, what have you, many different reasons, it's become a cesspool, or had become a cesspool. Uh, the president, uh, Duterte, declared this uh, great, um, great uh, uh, um, uh, war, if you will, on uh, January 8th. 5,000 volunteers showed up, and uh, they took out 45 tons of garbage. But that's just the start. Uh, you know, when you have something that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, an eyesore, if you will, that, that was that bad and dangerous, if you will, uh, it's not just, okay, let's clean it up and everything's hunky-dory, we're done. No, it's not. It's, it's much more than that. Uh, Duterte and uh, his government has um, taken the polluters to task. Uh, just recently, uh, the uh, Laguna Lake Development Authority named 21 polluters violating environmental laws. Uh, the uh, Department of Environment and Natural Resources also in on this. Uh, what does this involve? It, it's more than just cleaning up the garbage uh, that you see. Um, it, uh, they're going after big business and they're howling. You know that was going to happen. Any criticism, and there's a lot of it coming to Turdy's way, is um, without merit. It's coming from the people who are causing the pollution. It's uh, big companies like the hotels. Uh, they're uh, they're just dumping their wastewater in Manila Bay, and that's that's just uh, inexcusable. So um, their uh, Duterte is uh, you know no holds barred. He's going after them, and you know it's more than just picking up the garbage. Uh, the solid waste management, education, uh, the the uh, um, Pollution comes not just from the people who are living along the uh, Manila Bay and the businesses. It's from the lakes and rivers that feed water into Manila Bay. So it's a, it's a wide ranging effort that uh, needs to be undertaken uh, in order for this to work. Uh, not only are they going after the businesses, but uh, the uh, 42 billion pesos, uh, yes, billion with a B, uh, 36 billion of the 42 will be used to take 233,000 squatter families, poor families who live along that area and are contributing to the pollution, moving them out and not just kicking them out, but providing good housing for them. So it's a, it's a win-win. It's a, it's a win for uh, these poor families who have been destitute for years. It's a win for uh, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the pride of the Philippines. It's a win for everybody. It's, uh, you know, it, it cleans Manila Bay up and, uh, in, in, in due time will restore it to its, its natural grandeur, its beauty. And, uh, Filipinos will be able to look at Manila Bay, Manila Bay and say, look, this is our baby. This is who we are. This is what we're about. It's great natural beauty and we, and we take good care of it. So for you folks who are, uh, taking care of business and uh, come on you guys who are causing the pollution we don't want to hear you whining you're whining just step up do the right thing it's good for all of us that's it for this edition of coffee with the goose thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have comments I want to hear what you have to say and i will respond all right take care